what's up, Barnaby here. Always trying to give you the good information about Klein Tools. In this particular case, Bill, let's talk about warranty. Right? Absolutely. What is the Klein warranty? Well, the vast majority of Klein products are covered by what we call our standard warranty. Mm -hmm. Now this program states that Klein products are warranted to be free from defect in materials and workmanship for the normal life of the product. What is normal life by definition? Well, good question. Let's take for example, you recently purchased a pair of pliers, mm -hmm. get out to the job site, start using it. After a while, start realizing, hey, these knives aren't quite cutting this wire that this tool was designed to cut. Mm -hmm. In a case like that, that's normal life. The tool isn't old, it's just simply not performing its application. So we would definitely encourage you to contact us in that situation and get a warranty return authorization. Okay, so on the outside of normal life, what are some of the things the warranty wouldn't cover, say? Well, there's three main areas that the warranty would not cover. Mm -hmm. The first is normal wear and tear. Mm -hmm. Take, for instance, a tool that was purchased in 1970 sure. and been used just about every day since. Uh, you start realizing that the tool's just dulling out, it's not performing its application properly anymore. This tool has basically come to the end of its service life versus being something that would be covered under a warranty. Uh, after that, there is abuse. Take, for instance, you're working up on a scaffold a few stories up. You've got a pliers teetering on the ledge and, mm -hmm. you know, grab for your lunch, and all of a sudden the pliers takes a dive. Sure. Hits the ground, cracks, breaks, etc. That would be considered abuse and also not covered under the warranty. Finally, there's misuse. Mm -hmm. Now, in a case of misuse, and I think a lot of us have unfortunately done it, but oh, yeah. taking a screwdriver as a pry or a chisel. Mm -hmm. uh, a traditional screwdriver isn't meant to take that type of torque on it, so say it chips, the, the blade of the front chips, and that would not be covered under warranty. Okay, and as we uh, evolve into more sophisticated tools like testers, things that have electrical components to them, explain the warranty on those. Well, we do have a selection of items which come with either a one, two, or five year warranty. Now, those type of products are usually ones which contain a lot of electrical components, mm -hmm. such as a multimeter or electrical tester. Yeah. And then there's also products that have a lot of moving pieces. Uh, take, for instance, a ratcheting cable cutter. Those type of items don't fall under the standard warranty, but they still have a warranty just a shorter period. Okay, and you know, everybody always thinks I gotta keep good files on all purchases because I'll need to understand the warranty process if a question does come up. So take us through it. How do we get in touch with you guys and get to the bottom of things? Great question. We try to make it as simple and convenient as possible for our customers to take advantage of warranty service. Mm -hmm. So there's really three main ways you can take care of a warranty situation. Probably the most simple is going back to the distributor that you made the purchase from. Mm -hmm. They should be more than willing and able to help assist. Now, if you'd rather contact us directly, we certainly encourage that as well. Our customer service department can be reached by phone at 1-800-553-4676 mm -hmm. or also by email at customerserviceatclinetools.com. Either way, our customer service team will be ready and able to assist. That's cool. And for those who are shy and would rather not leave the house or talk to anybody, <laughs> uh, we actually have a great feature on our website that allows our customers to, on their own, request a warranty return authorization. All they need to do is supply a little bit of personal information as far as their address, etc., along with the catalog numbers of the products they're looking to return, punch it all in, submit it. Generally, within an hour, they'll have a warranty return authorization. Cool. I think if I'm going to uh, make a warranty question, I'm going to call because I want to get you, the man with a <laughs> smile, right? Absolutely. Thanks for the good information. Hey, my pleasure. Yeah, because at the end of the day, I mean, you, you did the right thing. You bought a great tool, a great Klein tool. But if you do have a warranty question, you need to know the ropes, right? And it's a one-stop shop for you. KleinTools.com.